Hello and welcome to another Giant Slayer TFT Top 10 video. Today our analysts will be counting down the top items, traits, and champions for the early game. Keep in mind that we're all still learning and exploring the new patch and set, so this list may shift over time. And as always, this is not listed in order of strength as all of these are viable depending on the right situation. With that said, let's jump in and start the list off at number 10. But before we begin, please don't forget to click the links in our description. Give your support to everyone who helped make this video happen. We host many TFT tournaments with plenty of exciting content to come, so be sure to also follow our Giant Slayer TFT social media pages. Let's get right back to the video, and as mentioned, we're starting at number 10 with one of the best early game traits, Cybernetics. Cybernetics are fantastic early on, as well as throughout the most of the game, but the amount of power three Cybernetics provides early game is quite a bit. With only three champions and components, you're going to have an extra 1,050 health and 150 attack damage spread between three champions. Even just one one cybernetic with an item is a lot of value. Hands down, this is one of the best traits you can pick up to win streak with, especially if you two-star any of the champions. The champions you will generally play with early cybernetics are Leona, Lucian, and Fiora. Vi is also a possibility if you're lucky enough to pick her up before Krugs. Don't worry too much about what items you're going to make, as the trait only requires a component to gain the bonus health and attack damage, so it's fine to place one item component on each cybernetic early on. Otherwise, strong items to look for are Red Buff for Lucian, Thieves Gloves for Fiora, or Vi and Bramble Vest for Leona. All right, let's continue on the list. Number nine is Zaya. Zaya was recently buffed in patch 10.7 with a small attack speed increase going from 0.75 to 0.8. Even without that buff, she was already one of the better solo champions early game as she is a great item carry for any physical damage items. While she's perfectly fine without her traits, it's fairly easy to slot them in either Celestial for champions like Sin Zhao or Rakan and Blade Master with Fiora, Shen, Yasuo, and Master Yi. But whichever trait you you play for, always keep in mind that a strong frontline works best for any backline carry, so prioritize that to keep Zaya alive longer. As mentioned, Zaya is a fantastic item holder for physical damage items. Infinity Edge, Giant Slayer, Deathblade, Bloodthirster are all possible items to give her. Other items that work well on her are Static Shiv, which was recently buffed in 10.7, Hand of Justice, and Guardian Angel. Moving on, we have the number 8 pick on our list, Red Buff. It's been mentioned already, but the item is amazing early game despite being nerfed in 10.7. It is mostly played on blasters such as Lucian or Graves, but any item carry can utilize it well enough. While the healing reduction effect was nerfed going into set 3, it's still enough to make this item potent against any healing items. On top of that, it does true damage, which ignores any defensive traits and items. Ronomicon is also a viable pick, but it works best on champions with AoE, and that may not always be available early enough in the game, which is why red buff is overall better. It's always going to get a lot of value as it procs off of auto attacks. That said, it does work best with blasters to spread that effect out as much as possible. Let's talk about another early game trait with Space Pirates at number 7. While this trait can be hard to pull off later in the game, it can be extremely useful early on to net you extra gold. Darius was also buffed in 10.7 as his health was increased from 650 to 750, which is quite a significant amount for the early game. It can be a bit difficult to get this trait going on quick enough since there's only three champions available in the early game, but with Graves being a one cost and Darius a two cost, it's not too hard to play it. There's two reasons why this trait is worth going early game. One is the extra chance to get gold, which is crazy valuable since the economy was drastically changed in set three. The second reason is the champions themselves are actually quite good. Graves does okay damage, but his ultimate effect reduces damage received by a lot since it's a blind that lasts four seconds. Darius is fantastic at finishing off low health targets, and since he resets when he kills them, it can often snowball the fight. Jace is a bit harder to find early on, but if you do, his ultimate does a lot of AoE damage. Overall, the champions can carry this trait early on and net you a few extra gold. Getting back to the champions, the pick coming in at number six is another early game item holder, Twisted Fate. Twisted Fate is the counterpart to Zaya in that he's going to be the one holding magic items for later. His ultimate can be a bit unreliable, but it does a good amount of damage and is AoE technically, so it makes up for its shortcomings. Chrono can be played with several champions, and two Sorcerer is an easy 20% magic damage boost to your team. That said, on his own, he does fine as long as you're stacking AP items on him, such as Seraph's, Death Cap, Merlin Omicron, or Jeweled Gauntlet. Rageblade, Hand of Justice, and Guardian Angel are also 
also okay options for him. Up next, we'll go over two great early game items, but starting at number five is Bramble Vest. Bramble Vest has been a fantastic item for quite a while, and in set three, it's still proving its worth, especially with the prevalence of auto attack heavy builds in 10.7. Negating bonus damage from a critical hit is insanely valuable all game, but especially early game where random crits can really swing fights. Infinity Edge is also fairly popular right now in the meta, so blocking the extra damage and criticals from that item will often win you rounds. In set three, there's a decent amount of options to give this item to with vanguards, brawlers, and protectors. It does work best on harder to kill champions such as Leona because the armor from vanguard and her ultimate, but give this item to any frontline champion and it's gonna do work. The next item coming in at number four is Ionic Spark. This is a surprise pick to be sure since Ionic Spark spent a lot of time not being a great item at all in set two. But with the changes to it in set three, the magic resist reduction it provides can be insanely effective throughout the whole game. Early game, it's quite useful not just for the magic resist reduction, but zapping nearby enemies when they cast can add up to a decent amount of damage over time, especially into anyone playing low mana cost champions such as Lucian or or Ziggs. In general, this item works best when given to a frontline unit, so you don't need to be too picky on what champion gets it. Look to make this item in situations where you're running more magic damage early game, or if you have plans to swap into a magic damage composition later on. All right, let's talk about a couple more early game champions with Lucian as the number three pick. Lucian has already been mentioned a few times due to being a cybernetic and being one of the better champions to use red buff, but he's still worth being given his own spot on the list. This is because he's such a great early and mid game carry not only because of his traits but also the mobility he has and the damage he does since he has such a low mana pool it's easy for him to jet around the board with his ultimate to kite melee champions that fact alone really makes him worth grabbing but as we've said he's also has insanely strong traits with cybernetic and blaster and he uses items like red buff effectively much like set one lucian has really become a staple early and mid game carry this meta the last champion in the top 10 is Mordekaiser coming in at number two on the list. Mordekaiser may not seem that valuable, but his ultimate can do a ton of work in fights, plus it makes him quite hard to kill. He's one of the better standalone frontline early game options as he has both a mix of survivability and damage. Leona and Poppy are the other two early vanguards, and while they can do well at tanking, they lack the damage that Mordekaiser can provide. On top of that, he holds a lot of items quite well, such as Bramble Vest, Morella Namaka, Ionic Spark, Warmog, and Guardian Angel. All these items make him even more effective at his job. Overall, there's a lot of great options for your frontline in set three, but early game Mordekaiser really stands out as one of the better ones. And we're at the end of our list here with our number one pick, Rebels. Specifically, this is Rebels with Ziggs as the carry, but Rebels in general can do quite well. Having a stacking shield and damage effect really makes them both hard to kill, while the champions also do decent damage. Ziggs, despite being nerfed, is still a potent item carry early on, especially with Seraphs. Malphite is a fantastic frontline as he gets not only his own shield from his ability, but the Rebel shield as well, making him extra hard to kill. Yasuo, Master Yi, and Sona are all great choices early on to pair with Ziggs and Malphite, and with each Rebel you add, the more value the trait gets. Overall, this trait does quite well early game, transitions well into the late game, and is easily dropped if you're pivoting into a different composition mid-game. That's the end of our top 10 list on early game traits, champions, and items. But it wouldn't be a top 10 without a few honorable mentions, would it? So let's jump into those starting off first with protectors. Protectors can be hugely effective early game, but the issue with this trait early on and why it's actually not on our list is due to just how much it needs to do truly well. In general, this trait is meant more as a mid game trait than it is an early game, despite having low cost champions like Jarvan, Sinjao, and Rakan. This trait requires all four protectors that are upgraded and good items on Sinjao and Rakan to truly shine, and most of the time that's not gonna happen until the mid game. That said, they can still do well early on as a frontline option, but to truly carry your early game, you'll have to high roll the champions and some of the items. If you're able to find Sinjiao 2, Rakan 2, and an early Nico to get four protectors while having items like Morella Namakan or Bramble Vest, then protectors will hard carry you. All right, the next honorable mention is Hand of Justice. This item is absolutely one of the best in the game, and you're likely to see it on a multitude of champions later on, but early game, it can be a bit hard to get value. It's still an effective early game item, but because it's not always going to roll healing, this item doesn't always get as much 
much value as it does later on. And the last honorable mention is Vanguard. Specifically for Vanguard, as the trait can do quite well in the early game if you're lucky enough to find four Vanguard champions. It can be lacking in damage, but both Jace and Mordekaiser can make up for that. Why this trait isn't in our top 10 list is the fact that it just doesn't do enough. It's good against physical damage, but magic damage doesn't really care about armor, and there's quite a few items that do well into vanguards, such as Red Buff, Merlinomicon, and Giant Slayer. If you are able to find four Vanguard early enough, it's a great stepping stone towards the mid game as Vanguard with Jin Carry is quite popular right now and getting this trait online early is going to help a lot for that build. And that is all we have for you today, folks. We hope this top 10 list will help elevate your early game to net you those all important win streaks. Let us know in the comment section below if there's any traits, champions, or items you think should have been on the list. Thank you for watching. And if you liked the video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you all in the next Giant Slayer TFT video.